Hey guys, Sharpen here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to synthesize a kalimba and serum without using any sampling. It sounds something like this. So in order to synthesize a kalimba, we're going to first take a look at how a real kalimba sounds like. So here's a kalimba recording that I got to record a while ago. And as you can see, we have our main fundamental tone here. And then we have some noise mostly happening on the high frequencies and a bit on the mids. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's make it in Serum. You want to go into Analog and Basic Shapes. And then you want to go into the Wavetable Editor and delete um, 3 to 7. We don't need them. Uh, all we need is 1, which is our sine wave, our fundamental. Mm -hmm and 2, which we don't need, so we're going to use the Wavetable Editor to change it. So, um, as for the noise that's happening, uh, it doesn't have the fundamental. As you can see, it starts happening a bit above the fundamental, and mostly happens on the high end, so we're going to recreate the same thing by not adding the fundamental and starting on the second harmonic. Let's add a bit of the third as well. And then it's up to you, just try adding a bunch of harmonics. You can add them stacked up close to each other or separated until you get a wavetable that looks very noisy, like this one. So what we're going to do now is to pitch it up an octave. And we're going to use an LFO um, to just modulate from this wavetable back to our fundamental, our sine wave. So it's going to happen really fast, that's why I'm making this type of uh, shape. And I'm removing the BPM setting to set it really fast. And on envelope mode so that it only triggers one time. Something like this, let's hear it. And now let's create a volume envelope that fits a kalimba. So that means it should have no sustain, it should have some release, some decay, like 2 seconds, and like 400 milliseconds release. And as you can hear, it already sounds like a very convincing kalimba. And my suggestion is to just mess with it. If you're looking for a more lo-fi kalimba, you can instead just like add the more, the more lower harmonics instead and see how it goes. But I'm going to add some of the uh, higher harmonics as well. Let's hear it. And then if you're looking again for a more lo-fi sound, you can go into single and just filter it. And if you're looking for an even more lo-fi sound, you can then just low pass it again and set it, for example, to keyboard tracking so that it doesn't matter where are you playing on the keyboard, it's going to reveal the same amount of um, frequencies. And then I suggest adding a couple of effects. I suggest adding a tiny bit of uh, chorus. And then use two LFOs um, to create some vibrato and tremolo. So we're going to use this one to create some vibrato. A bit less. And some tremolo as well by modulating the volume both ways. Even a bit less. And altogether you should get a very convincing sound. And then I have a couple of additional effects that you can add. Um, you can add some convolution reverb. I've added an impulse response of a bathroom, which is very uh, small. So let's hear it on its own. So as you can hear, this type of reverb barely adds um, any mud and doesn't blur the sound too much. It just makes it sound like it's being played in a room and not dry out of the synth. So when you mix uh, the dry and the wet together, you get a sound that's less aggressive and less in your face. Let's hear it. And in addition to that, I've also added some dimension expanding. Um, and one more thing that I've added in a, a send mixer 
is some delay that has some reverb being applied to it as well and it's been uh, high passed quite a bit all of the lows are gone so altogether you get a nice atmospheric sound let's hear it on its own and one final tip that i have for you is to use a lot of tiny strums when you you write midi for your kalimba sounds because that way it's going to create some very nice um noise um bits so all of the clicks are happening at slightly different times which creates a very nice um, noise sort of like a picking noise for our uh, kalimba and for comparison here's the same thing but without strumming on the chords the chords are being played all at the same time so let's check the difference So as you can hear, it's a lot less alive and it sounds way more synthesized. So even changing the MIDI, adding like tiny notes in between can go a long way in making your kalimba sound even more realistic. And that is pretty much it. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what subject you want me to cover up next time.